Hi, in this video I'm going to be reviewing a 100 amp continuous draw 200 amp spike PWM controller for a twirling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. And I have to admit, it was boxed really nice. It came in this cardboard box with some bubble wrap and everything was wrapped in this foam so it was done very nicely and then you look at the size and it's a lot bigger than the typical PWM that I've seen and used in the past and it weighs about 26 ounces and the measurements are about eight and a half inches by four and a half inches by two inches and then if you look even at this potentiometer it's huge compared to the other ones and then it goes with the bigger switch and even the connectors in here are much larger to handle the higher amperage and it's got a little indicator in there and it's got English and Chinese writing on it so it should be easy to hook up but from first view it looks like it's built to handle the 100 amps continuous and the 200 amp spike when using it for 12 volts with your trolling motor. Okay, so of course I had to open up to see what's inside and it has six little screws like this, two on this side, two on this side, two in the back and then this top pops off and you can see the top in there has a nice big fan in it and look at that big huge heat sink right there and it's got four relays as opposed to usually there's two and then it's got eight capacitors in there and that's about all I know about the electronics but it looks like it's got a lot more components than the typical one we see which is 60 amps continuous and a hundred amp spike There's a couple of things I want to add after I did my initial hookup and test of this unit. This is one of the terminal connector screws, as you can see the open spot there, and it works just fine with a 10 to 12 gauge shrink fit ring connector, so you can get a nice good solid connection. And the other thing is that there's no on off switch that you will normally find with these PWMs and normally there are five wires because you have two that go to the on off and three that go to the pot so because there's no on off you can take it all the way down to zero percent in either direction but if you want to use it as an on off switch you put this in the center position so if you want to have a true on off switch you're going to have to add it into your wiring this is a view of the lake testing and coming up here is the PWM and my amp meter and I'm going to be calling off the percentage from the little meter in the PWM along with the amps drawn for my 45 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor that's in the water and the speed setting is on 5 to get the best amp flow possible. All right, everything's powered up, and I have my 50 amp circuit breaker in there just in case. There's the amp meter, and I'm gonna zero it out. Here's my percentage meter, so I'm gonna run it in each direction for 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent, and see what the values are. Twenty-five percent. I have six point eight amps. Fifty percent. Sixteen point nine amps. Seventy-five percent. Twenty-nine point two amps. Hundred percent. Forty-two point two amps. All the way down to zero. Opposite direction. Twenty six percent, six point two amps, thirty 
51%, 14.9 amps. Seventy six per cent, twenty six point eight amps, hundred per cent, forty amps exactly. All the way back down, turn it off so it works as it should. In this portion of the test, I'm just going to run through the percentages so you can watch the trolling motor and the prop with the prop wash. Twenty five per cent, fifty per cent, seventy five per cent, one hundred per cent. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.